Senate, Mr. Fleming. Thank you, Jerry. Good morning. How y'all doing up here in Bruce? Y'all doing all right? Doing good. Okay, I, I, I know it's early, but let's try that again. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? All right, as stated, my name is Eric Fleming. I'm running for the United States Senate, and I know y'all came here to have a good time, and I hear a whole bunch of politicking, but this year we are having a unique situation where we have two U.S. Senate seats up. Uh, we have one with the finishing the term for Trent Lott. I'm not running in that way. I'm running for the seat that was supposed to be up in 2008. And I'm running for the United States Senate because I believe that we are at a point in Mississippi where we have to make a decision between whether we want Wall Street determining what's going on or Main Street. Let me give you an example. I mean, just from the group in here that, that's close to the circle, how many of y'all have ever worked overtime in your life? All right, now those that are brave enough to raise their hand, keep them up, because I'm gonna ask you a follow-up question. How much did you have to show for it, if anything? Not much, some hands went down real quick. That's because the federal government taxes your overtime pay just like they tax your regular income. When my first bill, if I'm elected to the United States Senate, will be to eliminate the tax on overtime pay in the United States of America. Because if, and if you know anything of what happened down on the Gulf Coast in Mississippi with Katrina, just imagine how quick the recovery would have been if those folks were able to have that extra income for overtime pay. You know, I'm running as a Democrat, so I want y'all to hear this. I'm a Democratic candidate who's saying the first bill that I'm going to introduce is going to cut taxes. Because I understand that I will be representing the state of Mississippi. And unfortunately, as proud as we are, we still have the lowest income per capita of any other state in the United States. And we have got to have somebody in Washington that is not going to worry so much about what Wall Street says about us, but what people in Main Street, Mississippi are saying. And we need some relief from our taxes. We need relief as far as not having good jobs come through here. We need relief as far as public transportation in this state. To me, it doesn't make sense that we live in the poorest state in the nation and everybody has to have a car now. I think that if you had public transportation access for folks, people wouldn't have to worry about having a car to go to the doctor. They wouldn't have to have a car to go shopping or anything else. They need to have access, everybody needs to have access to do those things, and that's a major thing that I want to accomplish because the federal government has those resources to do that. The other thing I want to talk, there's two other points I want to make. Since I'm up here in Bruce, I want y'all to understand that there is something that the federal government is doing to you that is not good. Anybody, if there's anybody that's listening to me that is in tree farming, I want you to hear this very carefully. The federal government sells, sets aside, like over here at Holly Springs National Forest, they set aside X number of land of, of trees to sell. But what they're doing is they're selling it below market value. And that's undercutting the, the private tree farmers in our state and it's putting a hardship on them. We have to stop that. And we've had a U.S. Senator up there for 30 years that I'm running against that has done nothing to alleviate that pain. I think it's time that we have somebody in Washington that understands issues like that and want to change that and want to make it a fair market for everybody that's in the tree farming business. The other thing which even highlights even more the Wall Street versus Main Street connection is that we in Mississippi are paying $4 a gallon for gas. It's like everybody else in the country. That doesn't make any sense because the Wall Street folks are the ones driving the price of the oil up. See, they, these folks are professional gamblers. I know y'all don't go to the casino, so let me just explain to y'all what that means. These folks made bad bets as far as pension funds are concerned. These folks made bad bets as far as driving, dealing with other gambles in the stock market. And so what they've done is that in order to make that money back quick, is that they've started hoarding oil and taking it and driving that price up and up and up. So they don't care what Main Street wants, it's the Wall Street folks that are trying to protect their butts. Y'all understand what I'm saying? 
So we've got to change that mentality. We've got to get somebody in there that understands that Main Street, Mississippi needs somebody that's going to stand up for them, that's going to be vigilant for them. Now, I had the distinction of serving in the state legislature for nine years. Four of those years, I saw him roaming around here somewhere. I've served four years with Jim Beckett. Now, if, if you want a, anybody to vouch for how hard I'll work for you, how, how strong I'll be on the issues, just talk to Jim. And it doesn't matter if you like Jim or not, but just ask him. <laughs> because he knows how committed I was serving in the legislature for my constituents and I'll be that committed for you all if I'm elected your U.S. Senator in Washington. Again, this is our moment, this is our time, this is our chance to make Mississippi the state that people emulate in the 21st century. So I'm asking you to vote for Eric Fleming for the United States Senate November 4th, 2008. Thank you all so very, very much. May God continue to bless you, be with you, and keep, and keep you in his favor always. Thank you very much, Mr. Fleming.